Welcome to my video. This uh, this is a video on how to test a choke. There's a choke and a transformer uh, using a standard multimeter. My name is John. These are the kind of tests you might do in the field if you're testing treadmills or um, fitness machines because often you'll find things like chokes which are there to um, eliminate electrical noise and interference signals and transformers whose job it is to step down um, voltages usually from mains voltage down to something more usable like 18 volts or 12 volts um, that the control boards use. Um, they're pretty reliable devices to be honest but if you have got any doubt about whether they're okay or not they're very very easy to test. Um, obviously there's a test you can do using live electricity and you can test for the presence of voltage when they're in situ on the machine. Um, um, I wouldn't recommend you do that if you're not experienced in testing these kind of things because live voltage is uh, can be dangerous. Um, so the test method I'm going to show you is a lot safer. We're going to measure the resistance, which is basically a, a test where we don't use electricity at all. Um, we just use the meter to check to see whether the wires are connected. So let's start with the choke. We'll put the transformer to one side. You can see this device. How do you know the difference between the choke and a transformer? Well, the choke generally has got just two wires. There we are, one, two. Sometimes they go in at the top and out at the bottom, but they'll have two wires. If it's a transformer, it will have more than two because it's got two sets of windings. You've got a primary side, which is this one, and a secondary side, in other words, of the output, which is which are these wires here. And its job is to turn this voltage, which might be 220 mains volts, down to something a lot less. Uh, but they're easy to test. Let's start with the choke. Now, I'm going to expect that for a good test result, the resistance of my windings will be very, very low because I would expect them to be connected together. In other words, I know that because the design of these is such that our black wire here that goes in is simply wrapped around on the inside and it comes out to here. In other, in other words, it's one continuous length of wire, which will have a relatively low resistance. I don't know what that resistance will be, but I know it's low. So I've selected a low resistance on my meter. And let's see what we've got. Let's put one probe in there, the other probe in the other, without touching any metal contacts. Whoops, that's dropped out. Just, <coughs> excuse me, let's just try that again. There we are. And we've got 0.33 ohms. In other words, it's very, very low. So that's good. That's exactly what I would expect. The other test I want to do is just to make sure that my windings here are not connected to the metal of the chassis, because that would be bad news. It would cause a short circuit, and I'd expect the resistance to be very very high if that's happening so let's go to a high range and I'm just you could take off either probe it's random and I'm going to scratch through the varnish or the paint which is on the surface here down to bare metal to make sure I've got a good metal contact hold my probe on make sure my fingers are out of the way and I'm not getting any reading on the meter which means that whatever the resistance is it's probably the resistance of air and it's, it's way higher than 20 mega ohms, which is good news. So I know that that choke is good. That's passed the test. But what about the transformer? It's much the same device, it's just arranged in a slightly different way. In other words, I know that my two red wires here should be connected together. So let's do that same test. Again, back to a low resistance, because I'm expecting a low resistance result. And I'm going to try and go on the back of the connector here. Let's put that in there and just see that. And another one here. Let's get that out of the way. Whoops, there we are. Right, let's see what we see what we have here. And we've got a resistance of 103 ohms, which is it's higher than the other one, but it just means there's probably lots of wire in there. And it's got a natural resistance of 103 ohms, which in the scheme of resistance is still pretty low. And I'm happy with that. So let's take either of these probes off. Let's take the red one off this time. Scratch that on the surface. We'll switch our meter back to a high range and just check to see if those windings are connected to the frame or the chassis, because I don't want them to be. So I'm going to test on a very, very high range, which will allow me to check very, very high resistances. Scrape through the, resist the uh, varnish nothing at all so I know again the resistance is very very high which is good news so that's the primary side tested I know that works secondary let's have a look at that now I've got three wires here um, you may have different number you might have two wires you might have three you might have four it all depends on the arrangement but you should get exactly the same all of these should somehow be connected 
So let's take a look here. Oh, I need to go back to a low range again because I'm expecting my wires to be connected. In other words, the resistance to be very low. We'll pop that in the back of the connector. There we are. So this one, the secondary side, is actually very, very low resistance. Very, very low. 0 0.53 ohms. Uh, and let's test again. All of these wires should be connected. So let's take the black one this time. So I know that my two red wires are effectively one and the same wire, but they should be connected to my black, but they're not. Mm. Okay, so maybe another alternative way is that perhaps this perhaps would have been a four wire transformer originally. Maybe one of the wires has broken off because they're not connected, which means it's not, these are all not part of the same circuit, in which case if that's there, that should have had another wire with it. Let's take a closer look. So on this transformer here, you can probably see if I point to it, there originally would have been a wire just in here. In fact, you can just see the end of it there next to my probe. And you can also see damage. You can look, can you see damage on here? Uh, so this, obviously this transformer at some point I suspect has probably been dropped, uh, perhaps in the back of the van or in somebody's toolbox. The original wire that was there has been sheared off completely. This one's been damaged. So I'm not going to get a read on all that because it's, its buddy isn't there. So uh, effectively this, this transformer is now scrap. But you kind of get the idea. You're not necessarily looking for electrical faults. You could be looking for mechanical issues. It's just a question of being able to understand what it is you're trying to test. But those are the basic tests. Um, so the result of all that is we've got a choke, which is good, a transformer, which is nearly good. This bit, the red wires are all good, um, but there should be black. there should be an extra black wire, which isn't there. And that's why we can't get a reading there. So I hope that gives you an insight. Feel free to ask any questions and uh, best of luck.